good afternoon, especially to my one subscriber. I believe it's probably Jenna. Uh, and happy St. Patrick's Day. I thought on this Irish holiday, I would use my fake Irish accent, which I make no guarantees about. Um, but I would read a story from the past that is not an Irish story, but could be, it's not non-Irish, it's about a farmer and a cat. A cat, and I have a cat here with me. Right there. Whoa, that was British. Right there. <laughs> and he may um, perhaps provide some visual aids, we'll see. All right, this is from 1992. So I was not a small child, but I was still a child. I won't say how old I was. There are some small illustrations here, perhaps after the fact, because it says need illustrations, and I'm not sure if that came before or after I got this paperback. Anywho, without further ado, the farmer's cat. I'm just going to keep it aimed this way. So you can also read along if you are able to read old cursive. The farmer's cat. There once was a handsome young cat who lived on a farm. One day the farmer, who was kind enough to house and feed this lazy cat, asked him to kill the field mice who had begun to infest the barn. The cat agreed, but was in no hurry to start his chore. Instead, he rolled around in the field, teased the dog and groomed himself thoroughly. He was just grooming himself. For the next few days, he gave little thought to the mice. There it is. There aren't that many of them, he thought, and I can always kill some tomorrow if I feel like it. Oh, that was a shaky. <laughs> While the cat was, gro was goofing off, the mice were multiplying. Hundreds occupied the cellar, the attic, the hen house, even the farmer's kitchen. His master was furious with the cat. He refused to feed him. Oh, groaned the cat. If only I had done as the farmer asked. Now what shall I do for food? He walked away in search of some mice. Uh, yes, I think this is probably what it was. We must have had to write um, a fable or something. Oh, sorry, I lost that accent. Teach Bridget Dean, Miss Dean. Bridget Dean was my teacher. Uh, moral, something about procrastination forcing you to fend for yourself. Was I supposed to have written that? Oh, more mice. All right, so that was, oh, I'm new to this. That was The Farmer's Cat with visual aids by uh, Mr. Levi Stubbs here. And uh, again, happy St. Patrick's Day. And uh, I'm not gonna say don't be a lazy cat. You can be a lazy cat, especially these days, but just uh, be a lazy cat with caution. 